Hi, my name is Sandy and the purpose of this video is to explain how to make an intro for a race for Virtual Skipper. The first thing to do is open your race in the course editor and then click on replay. Then you click on edit and that will open up the intro editor. We'll create a new track for our text by clicking on add track icon and then text. You'll see with the writing at the top left that the start time for this is 0 seconds and the end time for the track is 3 seconds which is not very long. I like my intros to be about 33 seconds so I shall change block end to 33 seconds. At the bottom of the screen, beside the word text, is the green bar which is the timeline for our intro and I'll click on the icon show full timeline to make the timeline show the full 33 seconds. We now need to create the text which we do by typing in the box beside track text. And then I'll click on the screen and Three Mile Marseille appears. I can change its colour with the colour selector. I would now like it to be lower down on the screen. So I need to create a key at the beginning and end of the track telling the programme where to put the writing. I go down to the timeline and grab the red cursor and move it a little way from the beginning because you cannot create a key at the very start of the track. Then I'll click insert a key and a small white box appears. I'll now slide that box by left clicking and dragging it to the left to the very beginning of the timeline. And I'll alter the position of the writing by clicking on pause X and pause Y, which are the coordinates. I'll make pause X 0.5 and pause Y I'll make minus 0.2. Now if I slide the red cursor for the timeline to the right, you'll see that the writing would drift slowly towards the middle of the screen if I did not make a key for the end. So to stop that, I'll once again click on Insert Key and I'll drag the white key to the very far right and I'll change the values in POSX to the same as the, well, at the beginning which is 0.5 and POS Y was minus 0.2 And this should mean that the writing stays stable even if I swing the cursor backwards and forwards. I can use the same techniques to add some information about the wind direction. So we'll create a new track, text. This time I'll just slimply slide the end of the track to the 33 second marker without having to actually type it in under block end. And I want the writing to appear a bit later in the intro so I'll slide the beginning of the text a bit further along. The sliding is done by left clicking and grabbing the yellow bars. We'll insert a key at the beginning, go and type some information under track text, change its colour using the colour selector, change its position by typing in figures in pause X and pause Y then grab the red timeline cursor, slide it to the right a bit, insert 
the second key go and change pause x and pause y to be the same figures that were in the first key and then grab the key and slide it to the end of the track and then we can save our work I want to add another track with information about the stream or current so I'll grab the red timeline cursor and slide it to where I want the writing to begin and then we'll create an add track text I'll slide the right hand of this track to the end of the timeline I'll create a new key slide it to the beginning of that track and type in the text change its colour and change its position this time I'm going to change its position by right clicking over the writing and holding and sliding no current to approximately where I want it. I can then adjust these figures slightly manually beside pause X and pause Y. I'll make pause Y minus 0.6. Then I'll slide a little bit to the right, make a new key make pause x 0.5 pause y was 0.6 and then drag the new key right along to the right and then save 